Is the Start menu on your Windows 11 PC not working? In this video, you will see how to fix the Start menu not working on Windows 11. Restart Windows Explorer Sometimes, due to some conflict Windows Explorer process stops working correctly. The Start menu is also associated with Windows Explorer, so restarting the Windows Explorer process could help. Since you cannot access the Start menu, you cannot right-click on it to open the Task Manager, so press Control plus Alt plus Delete button. Now select Task Manager. Now locate Windows Explorer. Select it and click on Restart. After a few seconds, it will restart. Now check the Start menu. Start your PC in Safe Mode. Sometimes booting in Safe Mode and then in Normal Mode fixes the Start menu issue. To boot in Safe Mode, open the Task Manager. Click on the File menu and select Run New Task. If you are on a new interface, just click on the button. Now type msconfig and press Enter. Now go to the Boot tab. Then select the Safe Boot, click on Apply, and OK. Now restart the PC in safe mode. Now open the MS Config again. Untick the safe boot box and restart the PC. Now check the start menu. Install latest updates. If you have installed the latest updates and start facing the start menu problem, then you need to uninstall that update or you can try updating to the latest update if it is available. To uninstall the update, open the Task Manager. Click on the File menu and select Run New Task. If you are on a new interface, just click on the button. Now type ms-settings colon and hit Enter. Then go to Windows Update. Click on Update History. Then go to Uninstall Update. Now click on Uninstall button against the recently installed update. Then follow the instructions to uninstall the update. If you haven't installed an update recently, you can install the latest update. Run DISM and SFC. Sometimes the start menu stops working due to corruption in the system files. Running the DISM and SFC scan could fix the issue. Open the Task Manager. Click on the File menu and select Run New Task. If you are on a new interface, just click on the button. Now type CMD and click the box of Create this task with administrator privileges. Click OK. Now type this command, SFC space forward slash scan now, then press Enter. It will take some time. Type DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health, then press enter. It will again take some time. You have to be a little patient. It will fix the issues with system files. Now check if the start menu is working. Rebuild search index. Windows Search and Start menu are closely integrated, so if the Windows Search has any issue, it could also stop working. So building the Windows Search Index could help you. Press Control plus Alt plus Delete buttons. Open the Task Manager. Click on the File menu and select Run New Task. If you are on the New Task Manager interface, just click on the Run New Task button. Type control space forward slash name space Microsoft dot indexing options. You will see the indexing options dialog. Click on modify. Click on show all locations. Now uncheck all the locations here. Click OK. Now click on the advanced button. Then click on rebuild. The process is going to take some time. Once the process completes, Restart the PC and check if the Start menu is working or not. Reset all apps. If none of the options are working, you can reset all the apps. It could fix the Start menu. 
However, resetting all the apps will delete the saved data in those apps. So if you don't have anything important in inbuilt apps, you can reset it. Open the task manager. Click on the file menu and select Run New Task. If you are on the new task manager interface, just click on the Run New Task button. Type PowerShell and select Create this task with administrative privileges. Copy this command from the description. Paste it here. Now press Enter. If you see some error in red, just ignore them. Create a new user account. If none of the above methods work, you can create a new user account and start working on that. Hopefully that will resolve the issue. Open PowerShell as administrator. Type net space user space, then type the username, space, then type the password, space, then forward slash add, and press enter. Now restart the PC and log in with the new user. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.